as air comes through the uh, engine, you know, it comes through the fan and it goes through the low pressure compressor, through the high pressure compressor. So as it goes through, the pressure is increasing. So we get a high pressure area, you know, just around here in the engine, and we have a low pressure area here. It goes through the combustion can, and then we're going into the turbine section. So it's high pressure here, and it goes back to, to low pressure. So we've got an area of low pressure, an area of high pressure, and an area of high pressure, and an area of low pressure. So if we've got a pressure differential acting across an area, so just let's say this area here, right? If we've got a pressure differential, well, force um, is equal to the pressure differential times the area. So we have a high pressure here and a low pressure. That's the pressure differential. And we'll have an area. This could be the the um, this could be the compressor discs, that area. So we have a force pushing the shaft in this direction. Similarly on the hot section of the engine, we have high pressure here and a low pressure here. So we have a pressure differential and we have an area. So, you know, again, let's have the turbine discs as the area. So we've this def pressure differential acting across it, and that's put pushing the shaft in that direction. Now, if the two forces are equal, then, well, things are okay. If they're not equal, then the shaft will want to move along this axis and that can damage the bearings. So to, um, to alleviate any um, movement of the shaft or any pressure differential, what we have is a pressure balance seal. So this, this guy here, it's a pressure balance seal. And what happened is we bleed uh, high pressure air and bleed it back to act on this area so we have a force um that that can be added to to this force to make sure that the forces on both sides are equal okay so uh, you know we're just using bleed air inten internal engine bleed air to act on this pressure balance seal to get a force so that the sum of all the forces uh, is, is equal to zero. Okay, so, so this force, so whatever the pressure we're acting on this pressure balance seal, by the area of the pressure balance seal, that force should be enough to equalize the forces that were originally going in this direction and in this direction. And we call that the pressure balance seal.